Hi, I'm Joshua Parmley, and today I'm presenting on computational thinking. Um, several years ago, I had a finance professor who um, took the time in one of our classes to tell us that he felt it was more important um, for us to leave his class having learned a new way to think than to have learned a bunch of new facts. His point was that it's more important um, to change the way we think than it is to change what we know. This idea, as profound as it is, has been around for several, or for several hundreds of years. One great example of that is Johannes Gutenberg, who in the year 1439 wrote that the idea for a movable type printing press came to him as if in a ray of light. Today I'd like to talk about that ray of light and to define it as a way of thinking known as computational thinking. Computational thinking is the process by which we analyze and solve a problem using principles fundamental, fundamental to modern computer science. Um, an example with this is with Gutenberg, who created a physical function, his printing press, which allowed him to reprogram or change what his printing press would do to change what he would print. All he had to do was rearrange the metal pieces on his printing press and then go about the same process of clamping down the paper and turning a lever, and he would have a completely unique, fully printed page. His work revolutionized history and shaped and was fundamental to the Reformation and Renaissance eras. This idea of computational thinking, this ray of light, that Gutenberg had has pervaded and changed most of history. It shaped the industrial era and it was made manifest in a lot of ways in the modern area. One great example of modern computational thinking is with nuclear physics, where physicists took the nuclear, the idea and the function for nuclear bomb, a situation where they created a chain reaction of nuclear reactions, and they modified it and they limited it and reprogrammed it in a way that allowed them to sustain a chain reaction and to create a nuclear generator instead. Um, again, just like Gutenberg shaped his eras, this idea of, nu of a nuclear generator is shaping our discussion on renewable energy and our hope for the future. I believe that with other issues beyond the energy crisis raising with environmental and rising poverty levels, we need computational thinking to be a part of every field of work and education and science. To that end, I believe that we should um, have every single college student have some exposure to computational thinking. As Einstein said, it's not so, education isn't so much about learning facts as it is about changing the way that we think about those facts and the way we think about the world. Computational thinking has shaped history and it's defined fields like physics in Gutenberg. And it hasn't mattered if it's a metalsmith applying it, if it's a physicist applying it, or if it's a farmhand applying it. It's had the opportunity to innovate the world around us, and that innovation has given us the ability to change and shape the world that we live in.